Okay, we're going to do a demonstration here with a, a basic motor with a battery. And we're going to see if a current limited battery source or a, a wind generator or a solar power generator, usually uh, which has a limited uh, amperage, uh, we're going to try and simulate that and see if a motor will turn with that limited source. And we're going to demonstrate that by using a ultra capacitor, we can actually uh, get torque performance out of a limited current source. What we have is in the circuit here a battery C1, which is the ultra capacitor, 5 farad super cap. And I'll, I'll show you the details where it's made and who it's made by. It is made in the USA. Um, and we have a switch that we'll use to to put the switch in and out so we can uh, do the test. And we have a basic motor. This is the limited current source power supply. Uh, what we will do is actually show you that it's a limited current power supply. Um, I'm going to short the outputs. And that's going to show that the power generated by this is current limited to 300 milliamps. It is able to put out 2.5 volts. I pulled out my short. Um, and so it's a limited current supply, which is our battery. We are going to look at the capacitor. The capacitor is an ultra thin. ultra thin 5 farad capacitor. It's right here in our circuit here and I'll explain the circuit in a minute. But as you can see it's a 2.5 volt super capacitor. Okay? We have our motor which is a basic toy motor from a car toy. And we have a ammeter, which is going to show us the motor current. If we look in the circuit, we're going to measure I motor. First test is what we're going to do is uh, no capacitor. And we're going to keep that switch open and see if the motor is able to turn and just see what kind of performance we get. Most likely it will turn, but um, let's see what happens. I have here in series a, an ammeter and a power source which is hooked up to the ultra capacitor but the, the negative of the capacitor is not hooked up. This is the negative. That's the positive. As you can see, the negative is not hooked up. So I'm going to actually now hook up the minus right here. There it is. Notice the current limited. Remember the voltage drops. You can't. And the uh, load current is about 0.2 amps. Okay, so it's Notice how when I go on and off, the motor is having a hard time starting. If you can hear the, the uh, motor, I'll get closer because of a current limited power supply. Now, next test, we can actually hook up the capacitor and you'll see the improvement in performance. Okay, now as you see the switch is closed, so we're going to put the minus side of the cap to the minus side of the, capa uh, of the current source. Here is the minus side of the cap. It's hooked up to the minus of the power supply. Okay. And the ammeter is now unhooked because I have the lead in my hand. As soon as we close the circuit with the ammeter, the motor should turn. 
as you can see there's the motor and I'm gonna connect it in a minute here okay here we go and we can see the how the motor performs notice the current is supplied by the capacitor I'm turning this on and off and you can see this, the motor is actually got good torque as if it was a high current source. So this demonstration shows you how you can improve and get motor torque by using ultra capacitors.